was like, you've been like carrying me in the back of the van. <laughs> Guys, we are back, back in Australia, Australia and we've had the most incredible week here back at home. We only have 10 weeks left for this little baby to come. Like, look at the belly. Do I look like a pregnant lady now? You look. I feel like a pregnant lady. You look very pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we have had the most incredible week because we went and got a 3D ultrasound. And if you haven't seen one of those before, you basically can see exactly what your baby looks like. And they filmed her in real life moving in 3D. So we basically have kind of seen what she looks like. So definitely let us know, do you think she looks like me or like Steven? Because I feel like at the moment it's been quite 50-50 split. So now that Jess is in her final trimester, we thought this is the perfect time to show you guys around our beautiful home state of Western Australia. If you've been following us for a while, about two years ago, we did do a 10 day road trip here in WA, but we went to the north. So we went and swam with whale sharks in Ningaloo Reef. We went camping in Karajini National Park and we went on a sunset camel ride in Cable Beach. But this time we are going on a 10 day road trip, but we are headed to the south. If you guys didn't know, I swear globes make Australia look so small. It's the size of America. It is so big. And our state pretty much is half of Australia. So in the north you're going to get reds and oranges, but here in the south you're going to get turquoise, greens and blues. Totally different vibe. And that's why I'm excited to show you guys around. So today to kickstart everything, we've picked up our camper van and driving three hours south of Perth. So we've just parked up the camper van for the night and we are going to be staying pretty much in the Aussie Outback for the next two nights. We've just checked into a spot called the Tree Chalets and the name is insanely fitting because look at this beautiful forest filled with gum trees. You turn around here. It's absolutely beautiful. We're staying kind of near the Bustleton Dunsborough area and I could not wait to show you around. It's just going to be us and the Aussie bush. But if you come through here, look how beautiful this place is. And here is the kitchen and they've stocked us up with a bunch of breakfast cereals and fruits and even Petty, Nettie, Letty and Betty has uh, laid us some fresh eggs for tomorrow morning. <laughs> we need to show them what they've left in the fridge for you. They must have like realized we were coming because look at this. I opened this up and I cracked up laughing. I put an Instagram story up yesterday because a lot of you have been sharing your ginger beers ever since we went to the Bundaberg Barrel. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I had the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming through here, this is our living room and there's a full blown fireplace, which we do not need because it's currently really, really hot here in WA. We've got a full-on lounge room and then through here is our bedroom. That bed super looks cozy. super comfortable by the way. <laughs> through here is our bathroom, but I don't think we're going to be using the shower because out here there's an outdoor bathtub. That just finishes it on top. You walk in there, you think you're completely blown away and then that's kind of like the cherry on top right at the back. You run in a bath? Steve. What? Smells like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> That's your dream. <laughs> well, if we're gonna run a bath, we need some bubbly. And I only get the finest of bubbly for my wife. La -da -da -dee. This is the best thing ever. Do you want? It kind of looks like champagne. We don't know where we're going, but we're on the run. We don't know where the road ends, but we're having fun.
So this area is definitely one of our favorite spots here in WA and we've been here a lot of times. So we're excited to show you some of our favorite spots because if you enjoy food, you're gonna enjoy coming down here. We're currently having some breakfast outside and we're gonna hit the town and uh, show you some of the best food spots in the area. kickstart our picnic supply adventure we're going to be driving around the southwest getting all these supplies we haven't saved the best for last we've saved the best for first and if you like bread like myself this place is life-changing it's the yelling up wood fire bread place factory shack <laughs> um the word's bakery bakery <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so good Should we get one of these and one of the, oh yeah, fruit loaf. Perfect, thank you so much. Thanks. Great, thank you. See you. See you. Oh my gosh, we were so lucky. There are only a few loaves left, but if you come, you need to make sure you get one of their like standard whites and then one of their fruit loaves. They are incredible. Bonus points to you if you can get it fresh out of the oven, because whoa. That bread doesn't even make it home. That is just like eaten as you're driving around. Alrighty, picnic supply one. It's Check. all coming down. But I hope we learn. Thank you so much for this. For yeah, I appreciate it. The lemon pressed olive oil and the apple balsamic. Let's get to. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for that. A little bag. Oh yes, please. Thanks for the olive oil, buddy. <laughs> I love how he was waiting there. So we have found out that our favorite olive oil place that goes amazingly, by the way, with the bread, it is actually only open on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. But because today's a Thursday, if you do call and they're around, they'll come and open it up for you. So we'll one for now and one for when we get home. <laughs> But if you do come here, when the store is open, there's full tastings, you can try their entire range. Plus it's a pretty cool estate because the kangaroos, which we've just found out, they must like the olive oil because there is so many of them. So you can come here, get some kangaroos, get some olive oil. There's like chairs set up so you can taste them. Full experience if you come here on the weekend. I'm just happy that we have some olive oil for tonight. Brothers outside with his friends playing basketball. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We may have needed to um, have a lunch break from our picnic getting adventure. So we headed down to Yellen Up Beach. And while walking along the beach, we saw this little cafe and I was like, let's try it out. And it ended up being really good. Fresh wrap, burger, juice. I told you it's all about the food. <laughs> Yum. My sister's upstairs in her room with all her dogs. Ain't it funny? So we've now headed out to Margaret River, and if you guys like wine, you definitely need to come to this area. There are wineries and vineyards everywhere. But if you're not that into wine, but you still want to enjoy it, you should come to this place called House of Cards because your friends can go enjoy the wine while you go and have the best chocolate chip cookie of your life. To get your last, oh, when you're oh, ready. We've got a few more back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We usually yeah, try no. all that. Well, I was going to share one now and get to three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the three cookies. One warmed up, maybe? Or? Um, one warmed up and then two will take away. Two Amazing. Weeks. Thank you. And this is the locals tip. Our friends told us where to go because there's a cafe hidden at the back of Gabriel's Chocolates and you kind of got to look in there, see if they have some freshly baked. And he asked for the chocolate chip cookie. And these are life changing. Alrighty, we got one word for you. Cheese. Cheese. Can we please just get one of the black pepper cheese? Yes. Okay, and we're ending things on a bonus round. We've come to the Margaret River Chocolate Factory and you never come here to buy anything. You are totally here for the chocolate free samples. Yum. <laughs> oh 
I'm not sure if you can tell, but we got home ready to make our picnic and it has started to rain and it's very windy. So we may have improvised. So we've got Stephen over here currently cooking up some sausages and I have just set up a little indoor picnic instead. So we've got all the goods right here. We've got the olive oil, we've got the cheese, we've got the bread and you can't forget the cookies. That's the best. As good as we remember. Mmm. Better. <laughs> Alright, so we are starting this morning on a little adventure. A local guy told us we needed to go and check out a spot called Nature's Spa and we're currently walking around the rocks trying to find it. Hopefully we do find it because <laughs> I don't know, it's not there's like no marked path or anything. Wow, just coming in here and this water is so clear. It's actually like not too deep. How cool is this? <laughs> it's so pretty. I feel the weight, the remnants of my past. How could you make Redemption from the dust, but you came in. We've honestly tried to find this place three times in the last five years and had no luck. Finally found it. <laughs> the yeah, look at this, it looks like a spa bar. <laughs> Alrighty, I can see why they call it a natural spa. <laughs> wow, look at my social. <laughs> place was so cool so I can see why they call it na nature's spa there's these like two little areas where water is coming from the ocean into the little kind of lagoon and so what Stephen was doing was he's putting his back to it and then the water would rush down as like a little massage on his shoulders and then the whole lagoon would bubble up like a spa it was, it was cool so unique I've never seen anything like it definitely definitely check it out but I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode here <laughs> in the southwest <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> show them your jumper. <laughs> Steven wanted to shave my jumper and then we um we had a moment. <laughs> they won't even get it. They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> and someone um picked up a little uh gift I see. No, no, don't do that. Don't oh. do that. Why not? I don't it's, wanna it's do cute. We're thinking of doing maybe three episodes here, so I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new around here. We're heading down to Denmark and Albany next, so make sure you give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you need one excuse to wake up early here in Australia, it is to come down to one of our amazing beaches. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. How cool is that?